and the last variety in hemolytic anemia is going to be number three it's sickle cell anemia guys and sickle cell anemia is something that you would have studied it very well it's a very simple disorder where when it comes to beta globin chain in the beta globin chain the sixth position sixth position of beta globin chain where there must be glutamic acid this glutamic acid is replaced by replaced by an another amino acid called as valin i repeat the original amino acid that should be there is going to be glutamic acid which is getting replaced by valin valin is the villain here v for v valin is the villain so glutamic acid is thrown away and valin comes and sits in that spot as a consequence there is going to be dysfunction of beta globin chain dysfunction of beta globin chain this leads to again sickling this leads to crystallization of hemoglobin and this crystallization of hemoglobin leads to sickling and this sickling of rbc will happen only during hypoxia not in normal conditions people please remember sickling takes place only during hypoxia the behavior of beta globin chain is such a way that during the presence of oxygen even though beta globin chains do have valent they don't misfunction but in the absence of oxygen whenever there is going to be hypoxia because of hypoxia the hemoglobin behaves very differently and they becomes crystallized as a consequence the whole rbc membrane appears sickled the whole rbc membrane appears sickle guys now because of this sickling there is going to be easy formation of rbc aggregates so you can clearly understand one cell sits over the other and that sits over the third cell that sits over the fourth cell fifth cell there is going to be easy formation of rbc aggregates and these rbc aggregates will turn very much less deformable as a consequence there is going to be mechanical breakdown the whole thing is going to happen again guys there is going to be less deformability as a consequence there is going to be mechanical rupture of rbcs and this mechanical rupture of rbc is going to end in hemolysis and that is going to be sickle cell anemia guys so under hemolysis you are going to write three conditions number 1 hereditary spherocytosis number 2 g6pd deficiency number 3 sickle cell anemia these are all hemolysis because of intrinsic rbc defect 